Uh, hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about digital effects for stop motion. Um, we've got three videos that I want to look at. Um, this is my Miles Morales video. It just came out. Um, card, video card, like right up here at the top of the screen for that. Um, the symbiote video that came out recently, and then my Moon Knight video, which came out a while ago. Um, we're going to be talking about like drawing Spider-Man's webs, blood, guns, you know, gunfire, that is. So... The th reason why I use digital effects so much is that I can have control over every single thing that thing does. Like, webs here, like, this web right here, I have control of everything that that web does. Like, it's not going to fall to the ground because of gravity. I don't have to hold it up a specific way. It's going to stay there, and it's not going to move unless if I force it to. Like, I control every single thing about that web. And it's just a lot easier to control. Like, it's a lot of quality control here. Just that, like, all of um, Spider-Man's webs are drawn, all of them that I do. Now, gun blasts are a little bit different. I've kind of started using digital for gun blasts now. Um, but I used to do, like, physical pieces at the end of a gun and, like, have the screen brighten up a little bit so to show a, show a gun flash. Recently, I just had, like, an orange marker. And this was a tricky shot because it was coming at the camera, so I just kind of had it, like, blossom out a little bit and then just disappear. And, of course, you go in here and you have to... Nope, not that one. With the frame itself, you have to make it to where it's, like... I You don't have to make it to where, like, its color increases, but I like to do that. But you've got to, like decrease the light a little bit so it like has the like muzzle flash if you get what i'm saying so it makes it a little bit brighter to show that flash and then because this one wasn't directly at the screen i made it a little bit more dim and a little bit smaller and you could just follow that arc again there um what else is digital here yeah okay so this web mostly was digital until i had to actually move the gun into his face and that only had that for two frames. So I made the um, drawing effect thicker. So it was less of a gut punch when you saw the actual physical thing there. Because I usually have my webs thinner. So I made it a bit thicker. And then boom. And then boom. He's punched in the face. And that web follows Miles' hand down. Um, yeah. And you just got to be careful if like your thing you're, you're drawing goes behind something. You've got to make sure that it's like erased. You erase it a little bit, so it shows that that thing is in front. Give a little bit of depth to it. I don't think, yeah. No other digital effects um, here. There is um, him using his electricity. And I just have, like, a bunch of zigzags. And I got rid of the color for everything else so this is stand out, which is, like, I liked to do. And just, you know, you gotta follow that arc for everything. And you do have to account if you're, like, swinging um, a character. is like, swinging around to punch somebody. You have to take into account if you're drawing it on um, the camera movement because it is going to look different from the character the character and camera position that you're going to have it so you've got to kind of predict what it would look like and just go with the camera flow so that's that one um this is from a um, previous screen recording that i did my mic wasn't on so i'm having to redo this um but every frame that the symbiote is shown here like this right here and I know, like, towards the end, and again, you saw Spider-Man's webs there, right towards the end, like, it coming down on his head, all of this was digital, I lost the symbiote, um, slime that I was using, now, I, I have no idea where it is, so, I had to go digital, I didn't have time to find another one, so, I had to go digital and just draw everything here, so, all of this, like, every frame that this is shown, completely digital, and again, following the arc of something, you just have to predict what it's going to do. And like, I, I drew it a little bit out of here so it could look like this stud is kind of like a big object and blocking it. So I had to come around the other side of the stud, if that, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if it does. But in the end, it turned out to be pretty smooth. Boom, just like that. And here I had to predict, and I talked about this in my camera movement video. I had to predict where the thing that I was drawing was going to go. To find a, kind of follow that arc and like i talk about following the character for your camera movement so this was the character in that instance and i had to predict where it was going to go so i could then draw it later and this shot wasn't very long um just because i didn't want to draw it like crawling all the way out to the side here and you know, ended up working out um this shot right here um i had the 
drawing effect really, really thin. I don't really know why, but I actually, I colored over the sticky deck that I was using to kind of look like more of the symbiote was on him. So, that I would recommend if you're doing like a scene like this. You know, just color over the sticky tack you can do. Um, and just like all of this, every frame that the symbiote is there. And so, um, for this, I kind of like, it looks like it's being stretched out. That's because like I started off with like a really thick, and then I like ended it like getting really thin. So I just really like being able to draw stuff because it gives me so much control. Like especially for this shot. Like, I couldn't have done that with, like, physical slime. Like, it just looks so crazy and messy. And those are, those are Venom's teeth, by the way. It just looks so messy. And, uh, like, yes, I love being able to control stuff like that. So that's that project. I've talked about it quite a bit now. Um, and then there's the Moon Knight project where he's, like, punches a hole through somebody. And I do a mixture of practical and visual effects for blood. Um, I have Sticky Tack colored red for blood. And, um, and like for this specific instance, I had it to where the blood was gushing out of that, you know, hole, that wound. There's kind of Moon Knight's arm here that you can see. And it just, again, following that arc and just, and if it's like blood that's going to like disappear quickly, just gradually draw it smaller and smaller so it can just disappear quick and you don't have to keep drawing it like all the way down like this, like this right here in the next frame, gone, all of it's gone. So and um let's see here yeah and like it like him pulling his hand out of the chest like you can see a little bit of blood came from that too and you can see from like dripping from his head there's blood dripping from his hand and that falls onto the ground here and, and another thing you can use visual effects for is just like spawning something in like his um little moon crescent bat batarang thing it just kind of comes out of nowhere so i kind of drew it like forming slowly getting bigger and just finally popping into the real thing so that was another um use of effects and again with the blood here like really with like digital effects you can really show just like the amount of blood here and yeah um and little attention to detail just a bit of blood drops from it and falls onto the ground so yeah digital effects just in, in summary digital effects can give you a lot of control that physical effects can't like physical spider-man webs um physical sticky tack gun gun flashes muzzle flare just stuff like that digital effects give you a lot more control over so i'm really happy that i can use those kind of effects and i um, i hope this video helped you on um, learn i guess kind of how to do visual effects better um yeah please watch this video I, this is one of my favorite videos. Um, I'll, I'll have a link to it somewhere. And um, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. This video is coming soon. Maybe, I don't know, um, whenever I get it done. It's looking pretty good right now. A lot of masking because Spider Man's swinging, swinging through the city. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, adios.